about incrementing um, not using the dereferencing operator and not forgetting to use it. So that's a basic introduction on pointers. Uh, let's see some other things that we can do. Um, so we can increment them. And uh, the fun thing about pointer comes in when we're uh, doing dynamic memory location, which is really cool. But um, so this is some pointer arithmetic. Um, let's see, we can reassign pointers. So int y equals 10. And now p number equals the reference y. And let's put C out Y is Y and L. So let's run this. And P number because we reassigned it to Y is now 11 and X is 5 and uh, Y is 11 because it's the same thing. So if we move this up here and we do this, oops. Okay. So we incremented x, then we changed it, uh, changed the p number to the y value, and then incremented y. So pointers can be um, uh, pointers can be referred to, and um, they can point to different things. Also, a good thing to keep in mind is that the lifetime of the pointer ends uh, at the scope of the pointer. So pretty much it ends at in main. And if you call it another function, it ends when the function ends, when it goes out of scope. So uh, if you wanted to have a, something that lasts till the very end, you could call a static int p number. A static keyword refers uh, means that it will stay until uh, until the pro program finishes executing. So let's actually look at another keyword, delete. Delete p number. What does that do? That frees up the memory uh, allocated to, well, actually the p number. It just uh, frees it up, kind of. And uh, let's see, that didn't do anything. Well, it actually kind of did, but not really. So if we delete a pointer p number, how about that? We can't do that. We we uh, we can use delete on p number. But how about if we specify this to be static? So it should throw an error. Oops, no, it doesn't. That is weird. But the delete keyword is used when you're finished uh, using a pointer, kind of. You can uh, delete it, and yeah, and that works. If you're deleting an array, don't forget to put these things here. So that would delete an array. And let's see, what else should I say about pointers? And uh, they're hi hard to catch the grasp of. So we'll be doing more with pointers in the next tutorials, but this is just um, kind of an introduction to them. And we'll, we'll get more in when it, we get into classes and functions and stuff like that, the fun stuff. So um, let's actually do a program with pointers and we're gonna do a program that breaks up a string into words. First of all, I'll, I'll show you an e easy way to do this program, but it's kind of cheap. So while C, uh, string text, And let's say 10. Oh, string text. While C in text, let's see. Um, C out. So something like this may work, but. Uh, Uh, you see, well, see out text and then end line. 
but this is a really cheap way of splitting up a string into words actually because oops let's see what I did there because you could just you see it split them all up into words and uh, but this doesn't really allow for much flexibility uh, it just is a while loop and while I'm receiving text I'm just throwing it back out at them again so I receive uh, some text and I throw it back at them, receive it, throw it back at them and because a space, the C in command stops working in the space then the next time it, it acts as a separate input and it keeps throwing it, it out at them as separate words so that that's a simple program, we d didn't even need pointers for those but let's look at a more a little bit more complex that allows us some flexibility so string name see out plea uh, and we'll declare two pointers string uh, p let's uh, string ooh character pointer p2 string and we also declare a pointer p it p iterator so please enter your name and now um, we want to use the sin method on a uh, name oh actually we want to use get line so get line cn name or I did lowercase name now we want to use uh, say p2 string equals new uh, m dynamic memory location happens with the keyword new so new is going to be our uh, we mean what new means is take uh, the stack a new like p block of memory from the stack and we're going to use it so new creates the uh, uh, memory dynamically uh, new character array and the size of the array is going to be name size um, plus one. So I created a, a character array uh, that is that is uh, name size plus one. And now I'm going to use the string copy method. Oops, I forgot to include a couple of things here. Include c string. Include string. Oops. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Nice. So I'm going to use the string copy method and I'm going to copy into P2 